so I have 15, uh, 14 aerations scheduled for today. That's over $2,500 in revenue. But I'm by myself, which is typical for aerations. I normally schedule them just for myself because I've only got one main aerator, the stand-on aerator, and then like my real old school walk-behind aerator that barely works and it's just not as productive. So I try to just do it by myself. The past several weeks I've kind of regretted it on certain days and I have had some of my guys help me while we're mowing. I've loaded some stuff up and we've kind of doubled up, you know, mow the lawn and then I start aerating the lawn as they're finishing up mowing the lawn and stuff like that. And then they go around and spread the seed and I blow it off. And as long as we're in sync, it's okay. But that's hard to do that when you're just going aeration after aeration and you only have like one main aerator. So it's just hard to be as productive. So I try not to, I'm all about controlling payroll. So I don't want to have just schedule unnecessary hours. When I can do it myself, just riding around on a stand on aerator and walk around with spread and seed, blow it off and I'm on to the next one. But that still takes time, obviously. So I don't know if I can get 14 done by myself today. Probably not, but I'm going to get as much done as possible. glad I started early I always try to do things early like whether it's start mowing early even if the grass isn't growing super long and thick I just try to get a jump on it you know work out the kinks obviously and make sure that all the equipment's running good our schedule is good and so on instead of waiting until the last minute or until we're like in the heat of the growing season same thing with mulch and leaves and aeration i try to make sure i get that done or started as early as possible because things are always going to happen equipment malfunction staffing issues personal issues weather is a huge factor and the whole month of september it's been nothing but rain every week to the point where it leaves the yard saturated and muddy for days after. So I'm really glad that I started early because now here it is the beginning of October. I still have like the last third of my schedule to get done. My plan was every week on Fridays, because we mow Monday through Thursday, weather permitting, if there's no hiccups or major delays, Friday is the extra day for me slash us to get other non-mowing things done whether it be trimming shrubs over the summer um, you know fertilizing spraying weeds 
uh, miscellaneous you know, equipment maintenance um, obviously getting caught up on mowing if for some reason we got behind that wasn't weather related but obviously if it was weather related friday is just kind of that catch-all day when it comes to aeration season it's let's schedule as many aerations as i can physically get done in one day every week every friday in the past we've chipped away at yards during the week during mowing so we would you know mow the yard and then aerate and seed it and when i was pulling the trailer that was a lot easier because i could load everything up in there but it was still it was quite the haul there was a lot of stuff in that trailer and it still required a lot of maneuvering and oh we need this so we got to get all this out first to get to this because different properties needed different things different mowers and so on so yes we got more done while we were on the property but it still took the same amount of time and it was still kind of stressful and this year getting away from pulling a trailer and going to the ramp rack so that i could be more efficient on so many different levels that is really uh, limited what I can take with me which to a certain extent isn't a bad thing right there's no need to haul your whole garage or your whole storage facility around with you all day every day I mean there's the thinking of well at least you always have what you need when you need it and I had that philosophy for the longest time but then I got to the point where I just wanted to be the most efficient which should make me the most profitable and just take what you need for the yards or for the schedule of that day, whatever you have scheduled that day. You know, don't don't carry stuff around with you just in the event that someone's gonna randomly ask you while you're on their property, hey, can you do this? I mean, that's fine when you're solo and you have some more flexibility, you have some more time, but even still, that work, that backs you, backs up into your personal time for that day. Instead of getting off at five, now you're getting off at six or whatever. You might have had plans, your family might be waiting for you to grill something for dinner or whatever, you know, and that, especially over the summer. So you wanna, so I kind of reversed that thinking and was like, well, if I don't have that stuff with me all the time, now I don't have, I don't have to fight with myself saying no, um, I can't do that right now. We'll have to schedule this for next time or another time. I don't have a choice now but to say that because I don't have the stuff with me. I can just legitimately have that as a fallback to say, hey, yeah, sorry, I can't do that while we're here. We don't have that equipment with us or I don't have that setup. I don't have that tool or whatever. You know, we're just mowing lawns today or whatever the scenario is. So I'll have to come back, we'll have to schedule that for later. And people just have to, you kind of have to train your people too, which is another reason why, you know, going back to planning early um, and, and just having things structured seasonally and being proactive, letting people know, hey, we're gonna be doing this service now. You know, we're gonna be doing, uh, you know, mulch now, we're gonna be trimming shrubs now, we're gonna be aerating soon, you know, whatever, to get people conditioned into the timing of it on your time when it's the right time of year and not just waiting for them to just randomly contact you at the last minute and you're scrambling to get stuff done. With that mentality and thinking and having the ramp rack and only being able to carry what I need for that day, I can't really aerate and mow all at the same time because I can't fit aerators and mowers and, and spreaders and everything all on my truck, on the, on the truck bed. I have squeezed a bunch on there. I definitely can get one you know my ride on aerator and my one of my grandstands on there um, and like pile my spreader on top and shove bags of seed up on the shelf and in cracks and crevices but man it's it's really packed in there and it's hard to maneuver and it kind of becomes frustrating but i've done it because i needed to to stay caught up because unfortunately it has rained every thursday friday since aeration season started so one i wasn't able to i haven't been able to until today have a dry non-muddy friday to get nothing but aerations done so that's what i'm getting that's what i'm planning to do today even though it did rain last night so things are wet hopefully not too muddy because they were already a little bit muddy yesterday when i was trying to finish up some aerations so what i've been doing is we mow all day and then i drop the guys off transition all my equipment back to air uh, uh to from mowing to aerations and then i go and try and get as many yards aerated and seated as i can before dark and, and it's a hustle i've been working like eight to eight every every day 
and it's just like spring all over again but you know summer was more of cruise control and then winter it's definitely dialed back so it's one of those things where it's up and down it comes in cycles and i try to constantly communicate that with my family so that they understand and they're reminded of that got to i got to get this work done in this window when the work needs to be done and when it's available get that revenue save up for the winter and then i'll have tons of time to hang out and do different things around the house and, and, and recover a little bit and prepare for next year, for, for the spring. It doesn't mean work shuts off for winter, it just means it slows down versus right now it's really sped up. There's a lot going on right now. Anyway, so what the heck am I doing here? I need to get after it and try and get as many aerations done today as I can.